Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an activity tracker by using Google Forms and Google Spreadsheets. So to get started, I'm here in my Google Forms account and we're going to make a blank form. And let's just call this activity tracking. And I'll make the first question your name. And for my second question, I'm going to say time spent playing outside. And I'm going to say time in minutes. Now you'll see here that Google automatically suggested that I use response validation. Response validation will make sure that people who fill in the form use the correct format for filling this in. In this case, I only want people to submit numbers. I don't want them to write out the word 30 instead of writing the number 30 if they're writing in that they took, spent 30 minutes exercising. So I'm going to say is number and is greater than or equal to one. And that's it for the form. Now I can customize this if I want. I can go up here to this theme customization, you know, use a different color. I can even use a header image up here. If I wanted to pick sports and games. I could do something like this. Pick one of these little activities, put that in place. Now let's take a look at the form itself. And so if I want people to fill this in, maybe I want students to fill this in or parents to fill this in on behalf of their students, put in your name and time spent playing outside, let's say 19 minutes. And then another person could fill it in. We'll call that person Susan. And maybe she spent 38 minutes playing outside. We'll do a couple more. Maybe the next day Tom comes back and he spent a whole lot of time playing outside. Maybe Susan came back again and she fills it in with 47 minutes. So now I have my form completed and I'm going to look at the responses. And I want to select create spreadsheet. So now here's my spreadsheet and with just four responses it's pretty easy to just tally this up on my own. But if I had a lot of responses coming in, manually tallying this up would take a little bit of time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna first I'm going to change the name of this to activity tracking. And now I'm going to go to the data menu and select pivot table. And now I'm going to select my rows and we're going to select your name. And then I'm going to do that again. So I'm going to have rows again, click add and time spent playing outside in minutes. So we'll see here, we now have a section for Susan, a section for Tom, time spent playing outside. We don't have our grand totals yet. So let's go down here to values and we're going to say time spent playing outside. And now it's tallying that up. So now we have a total for Susan and a total for Tom and a grand total for everyone who has submitted. So that's how you can create a simple activity tracker by using Google Forms and Google Spreadsheets with a pivot table. For more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.